everybody and welcome to a mech review. I haven't done one of these in a while. Now you all know I absolutely adore my Chinese combining mechs, uh, but this time I'm taking a look at something a little bit different. Today I'm taking a look at some of the mechs from the Korean series of Legend Heroes. Uh, this entire team here uh, makes up the Legend King Majesty which is made up of the uh, Dragon Cannon, we've got the Turtle Shovel, we've got the uh, Unicorn Racer, we've got the Owl Laser, we've got the Lion Launcher, we've got the uh, Magic Wings, and last but not least, we've got the Legend Gear Trailer. Now like we get with Power Rangers Dino Charge, each one of these vehicles comes with its own driver disc. We can slot the discs into each of the vehicles and then just close them up Let's take a look at Legend King Dragon Team. Now this is made up of the Legend Gear trailer and the Dragon Cannon. Uh, the trailer's nice, it's a good length. I wasn't convinced that the, it was actually going to clear the surface air. I wasn't sure if it was actually going to roll, but it does. We've got a nice truck on the front there. It doesn't really nip in as nice as it should. Uh, quality wise, it's pretty much level with the giant saver stuff uh, kind of very similar to the space deleter and at the same time very much reminds me of the operation overdrive stuff but done in a much thicker plastic uh, got nice clean paint applications and it's very similar to what we get with the show the show itself is actually uh, there's a few episodes on youtube and they've got their own site it, it's a pretty good show uh, let's take a look at the Dragon Cannon. Again, nice detailing there. We've got these swords coming out of the back there. We've got these little wheels underneath. So he does indeed roll. Love the tank treads along here. And this is quite clearly a connector. And there we have visible head syndrome now let's get him changed up very simple transformation although it's a very tight joint to untab fold the feet outwards come to the shoulder sections bring those around flip those hands out slide those swords out come around and bend this section down rotate the head around that's a nice face sculpt on there and this connection here presses on a unique button on the torso which in turn makes a sound so let's connect the top first push down on the chest and here we have legend king dragon it's a nice simple transformation but it definitely works it's a very good looking figure. I do love the use of the golds, the blacks and the greens. I uh, have no idea what this thing is on the back here. <laughs> I, need to, I need to do more research. I, I assume that goes on one of the weapons somewhere but no doubt one of you guys will be able to tell me and I'll be able to update that in the next video. Now the options for this guy are absolutely insane and that's before we even get to his final combined form. How about we bring in the turtle shovel, just remove his pickaxe. <laughs> That's certainly a, a, a different look. Unicorn racer, just pull out his weapon. Now that is actually one of my favourite head sculpts. Reminds me of kind of a souped up blur.
not really a fan of this mode. Uh, it's a nice head sculpt, uh, but there's way too much back kibble going on. It's nice to have that radar dish mounted on the shoulder though. Uh, you can also flip open the wing sections there for the owl and have him mounted on the chest like that. Uh, I, I just think they look like wheels stuck on the side, but it's an option. There we have a big shoulder rocket mounted on there. It's a rather odd face, but you know, it's uh, <laughs> it's again, another option like the uh, big lion section on the front there. Uh, very, very posh. <laughs> I don't think any of this section moves. Uh, you can maybe move these out slightly uh, like this. I don't really know, it's not really necessary. Uh, again though, like the owl, there's a lot of back kibble going on there and he does seem a little bit more back heavy than the others. As well as adding on the additional chest pieces, we can add on additional arms to form a new mode. I've honestly never had a series of mechs with so many different variations. <laughs> and there we go again. Now his main form, the Legend King Majesty, uh, that's formed when we get the magic wings join the crew, so all six can combine. And here we have him in his complete final form. This is actually my favorite of all of his various combinations. He's just so bright, colorful, and completely nonsensical. There is a complete mishmash of colors there, and it looks fabulous. Now, as far as the series go, there's a lot involved. All of these can combine together. I will cover these two individually because again, like this guy, there is a lot involved with them. But as you can see, there's a lot of little mechs, loads of these discs, and we get a big sword as well. This is what this one <laughs> is meant to look like. I have no idea how to make this piece here out of, I'm assuming, this piece with this on the bottom. I don't know. Uh, no doubt you guys can help me. Uh, I rely on you for things like this. I'm not as clever as I would like. <laughs> anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, feel free to give it a big thumbs up, share, and of course, subscribe. Thanks again to the guys at Sirtoids for making this review possible. It's fantastic that he gets all of these little random mechs in stock. I've included a link to this team here in the description below. Just click on that and it will take you straight through to the product page. And until next time, from myself and the Legend King Majesty, I could...